Hey everyone, my name is Brilliant and I like cheeseburgers. Today I'm playing CP Orange as a medic. Uh, CP Orange is pretty much your worst your worst nightmare for being killed by snipers because you will get headshot a lot. Um, this is mainly due to the map having very, very long lines of sight and very little cover, as well as little health packs, so people are low on health in the first place. Um, so, on, on the topic of having uh, little to no health packs, uh, Medics are so important on maps like this, and especially this map, because there there are no health packs. Um, people are constantly uh, low on health, and uh, medics are even more important on this map than any other because, well, in, in the first place, really, that they're probably your most important player on the team. So, uh, the main reason why I like CP Orange and Orange maps in general, not, well... I don't like most orange maps because they, they get really big and just too complicated, but uh, CP Orange times 3 is good because it is symmetrical and basically it is, a actually it's symmetrical to a point on both sides, so it's not like a side has an advantage. Engineers on this map are also very good for their dispensers and sentries because sentries can really hold down a point uh, because there's little cover to hide behind and basically this whole video, which I'm cutting up into a uh, two-part series, is... Um, just us trying to capture the the last point and the second to last point. Oh, and right here, I, I uber uh, a soldier way too early, and um, I think that was because I thought I was going to be killed by that sol by that red soldier, and I, I basically sent him to his death by ubering early. So, uh, really uh, quick lesson there, make sure... Well, I suppose ubering early is way better than um, dying and losing your uber, but still, uh, just just make sure you uber at the right time, because... Um, it's really important, uh, that's kind of obvious, but for taking down sentries uh, as medic, uh, you you want to uber a demo because those stickies just take down, it's, it's pretty much guaranteed to take down a sentry and, and whatever happens to me nearby, it, um, if that includes engineer then so be it, but definitely uber the demo because soldiers can't, they pretty much can't reload fast enough to take down the sentry um, at once, so yeah, that's that's very important. Don't be afraid to back off uh, as as a medic, uh, with or without your patient, because mostly because uh, since medics are so important on this map, they they really need to stay alive, and uh, that is that is your second main goal is to stay alive, other than um, healing people, obviously. So that that's that's uh, really good tips for con competitive medic as well. Although I don't have much experience, so I'm not exactly sure on how competitive medics act, but I would suspect that that is the basic goals of um, competitive medics. Take on targets that you think are weak with your needle gun when uh, they are attacking you. Um, I personally love the Solemn Vow because you uh, you are able to see enemy health, and um, I am good enough, I, I am a good enough medic with the needle gun that, that I can take on a heavy maybe at a quarter health and still kill him. Um, not with the overdose, of course, maybe with like the Blutsager or... Um, What's the other needle gun? Uh, well, basically default uh, needle gun, but um, definitely uh, use use the solemn vow. That's just what I like to use. But actually, use whatever you want. It's just I I love the solemn vow. I mean, the uber is a is a good choice as well. But um, it's just I I personally my my playstyle doesn't allow me to uh, take out my melee that much. So yeah, that's that. When you're healing, also especially in control point uh, game type, heal. Do do not ignore scouts. Scouts are some of your most important classes on a control point map. Um, I'd I'd rather be healing two scouts than one heavy, actually, because uh, scouts are so important for capturing control points, which is your main objective. It's not a. It really isn't a a team death match. Um, scouts are important, so do not ignore them. Make sure you distribute the heals evenly because that's just how you be a good medic. Definitely overheal soldiers for uh, their rocket jumps. Uh, I know as a soldier I, I really appreciate it when I get an overheal before I rocket jump because that's, I don't know, it's just sort of like uh, an OCD type thing that I don't have low health when, I, when I'm when um, i on a high building and people can see me and target me and yeah, so definitely overheal those soldiers when you think they're going to rocket jump because it's 
Yeah, it's polite, really. When you are alone with another medic and you're going at it 1v1, definitely don't be afraid to take them on. Um, now, I know I know, I said before that you should you should not be afraid to back off uh, with or without your patient, but if it's a 1v1, um, I would definitely suggest taking them on. Taking them on, sorry. Um, especially if they, or if you are confident in your skills with whatever needle gun you may be using at that time, because mainly this this is kind of like a high gamble with with a one v one medic. Because if you kill the other medic, first of all, they they are down their medic, and you, well, yeah, it's just they're down their medic, and that's that that's a huge advantage to your team. So also, when you see a spy. Um, feel free to attack them. Needles are so good for showing their position when they're uh, cloaked, when they're using like the the, the default uh, cloak and or the the default spy watch or the cloak and dagger. So um, do not be afraid to attack those spies. Oh uh, yeah, and here I see one, and um, I actually don't follow my own advice and just keep healing people because I figured uh, my my Uber is almost ready, and I really got to attack those sentry guns. The sentry guns on the last point, so we can cap it. But that's that. Last, last tip. Um, I kind of already said this already, but remember to distribute those heals evenly. It's it's really nice for everybody to, because I'd rather have everybody at at maybe 75% health than be heal whoring one heavy who is at 450 health and everybody else is at maybe 20 health each. So. Um, distribute those heals, uh, everybody appreciates it, uh, that's how you'd be a good medic. So uh, that's really all I have to say about this gameplay. Um, me personally for Christmas, okay, so I I am hoping, these are my top three items I'd like for Christmas. One is a nice pair of turtle beaches. Um, I've been hinted at by certain people uh, in my family that I am getting some turtle beaches. So that's going to be really nice so I don't use this crappy microphone and... Um, have well my speaker system is okay but uh it's it's really nice to have a nice microphone for recording and also in-game chat uh, my second one is actually fraps so i can uh record the the screen of the computer instead of uh what i do now is just point my camcorder at the screen which is kind of sad if i want to be a good youtuber so i'm going to need fraps and uh my my third wish list item is battlefield 3 I, I was a huge fan of Battlefield Bad Company 2, which I'm actually playing right now, and I'm going to release um, a video or two out of my channel after that. Um, I was a huge fan of Bad Company 2. Um, love sniping. Well, I don't I don't snipe a lot, but I just love sniping, and uh, especially using slugs, which um, I haven't seen are in Battlefield 3 yet. I'm not sure if they came back in Battlefield 3. but And then one thing I'm really, really, really looking forward to in Battlefield 3 is using Iron Sight Snipers. I haven't played World at War, so I don't really know what it's like to have Iron Sight Snipers, but um, really looking forward to experiment with those type of classes. Yeah, that's that. That's my top three things on my wish list right now. Uh, once again, this is brilliance. That awkward smart guy. Um, I'm not arrogant in saying I am smart, but I'm actually really dumb in real life. But I mean smart as in book smarts. Sort of, kind of, a little bit. Anyway, I'll leave... <laughs> I'll end this commentary on that awkward note. I like cheeseburgers. Have a good day. We need someone to go spy. I would, but um, I'm in a door right now. Anyone else? Why would I wait for spy? Someone can stop the sentries, and uh, you could come in with a heavy and take them out while they're down. All right, whatever. Uh, I'll agree. Never mind, room top, let's go. Give me a couple seconds, guys. I get it. Sentry down, sentry down. Sentry and heavy is almost speed. Okay, never mind. Heavy's still up. Okay, now he's down.